how you doing today? I am back with some good news, I think we can safely say. As of last night at 10 p.m. or 10 p.m. my time, I don't know when that's what the tweet says. I don't actually know how Twitter works, but regardless, Mike Pollock confirmed in a tweet that he would be uh, retaining the role of Dr. Eggman. Uh, in the tweet, he said the following, You know what they say, the more the merrier. You, you get it? It's like, it's a reference to the, uh, the, the one game. You know, the, the game that everyone hates, even though it's it's really good. It's in my top ten. Anyway, you've not heard the last of me as Doc Dregman in Sonic the Hedgehog video games. Kindly prepare your ears accordingly. If you guessed otherwise, surprise! Now if you'll excuse me, I have to stock up on lozenges. So yeah, I think it's, it's safe to say that people like this. You know, there were, there was a lot of speculation about whether or not he was going to be leaving the role. And uh, he was being very coy about it. And he says here on in a reply under the tweet, he goes, On a personal note, I know you'll want to speculate about what happened, doing possible casting choices, but please bear in mind that IRL actors' careers are steered by auditions, callbacks, bookings, and rejections. It's a bit more complicated than choosing sides for kickball. So, seemingly, it's just, you know, Sega was recasting the Sonic characters. He auditioned again for, for Eggman, and he got it. That that's, seems to be the long and short of it. So I wonder if it was so much that... I guess rejections maybe come sooner than, like, confirmations of castings. Because, like, with Roger and uh, Colleen and... Uh, well, I guess Colleen was kind of like, Oh, maybe I'm still Tails in the games. I'm just not Tails in Sonic Prime. But, nah. That doesn't seem like it. I... I if she would know if she were Tails in the games by now. But also, but yeah, they they seem to get the news to us of them not being the characters a lot quicker than uh, Pollock did for him remaining as Eggman, so... Maybe it just takes longer? I don't know. Uh, maybe, hopefully, this means that we actually will get the announcement of our new Sonic and our new expanded cast soon. Although, this raises the question, are there going to be other characters? who get to keep their roles, or I guess other actors who get their, to keep their roles as the characters. Like, uh, I know a lot of people were, you know, don't like Kirk Thornton as Shadow. I never hated him, but I would like to hear someone else have a try, so... Not to say that, like, there aren't, I, I real hope, really hope uh, Thornton gets the boot, but, like, eh. W one character I wouldn't mind if they stayed was, um, Silver. I actually don't... Let me look up real quick who's who's voicing Silver currently, um, because I know it was Capella and then Flynn and then the, the most recent guy had a weird name, Bryce Pappenbrook, and like a lot of people didn't like him in Team Sonic Racing. I don't know, maybe just because I was so happy for Silver just to be there that I was I was okay with him. But honestly, if if they were to use if they were to keep using him, I wouldn't mind terribly. And the reason I say that is because, this is going to sound mean, but for me, but it's really just the truth, at least as far as I'm concerned. For me, with Roger, and I, did, I know this is going to sound mean, especially since Roger, like, just left, but there, for me, there was really nowhere to go but up after him. Again, I, I know he's a nice guy, I know he, it's very sad that he lost the role of Sonic, but for me, it was like... I, I feel like it would have been hard to get a, an actor I disliked more as Sonic. Whereas for Silver, again, I like Pap and Brooks' performance, and Silver is in this weird area where, like, he's, like, well-liked enough and cool-looking enough and merchandisable enough to where, like, Sego keep him around so they can, like, make Funko Pops and stuff out of him. But they don't care enough about him to, like... They don't care as much about it about, as they do about, like, Shadow, or Knuckles, or Tails. So, like, I'm a tad concerned that they would get someone worse. Because, cause in my opinion, Silver's voice actors have been on the decline since, you know, Capella. Just, I don't think any of them have been bad. It's just, I've liked them less and less since then. You know, I liked B Capella more than Flynn, and I liked Flynn more than Pappenbrook. So, I, I would be a bit concerned, but also, I feel like you could get someone good to voice, so, I don't know. But, again, this, this is just raises the question of, is there, are other people going to get to keep their roles as well? 
Maybe, I don't know, I mean, possibly not just because we've seen this before. You know, this would not be the first time that, you know, Pollock was the sole survivor of a voice actor purge. Honestly, it's going to be a bit weird, just because, like, uh, you, you know, it was always jarring, like, when I would go back and play the, um, the 2000s games, and when I would, you know, watch the rare occasion when I would watch the English dub of Sonic X, and hearing Pollock, you know, um, bounce off of those actors, as opposed to then going to the 2010s, where he's still there, but everyone else sounds different, um, it was, it's not, like, a super, like, jarring thing, but it was, like, weird, so it's gonna be weird to, to have him, you know, to have it happen again, yeah, and again, as much as I think it's, is a good thing that, um, Pollock gets to stick around, it, it would have been kind of nice to, to get someone else's take on it, I mean, I don't think that's, that's disrespectful, or, or rude to say. But, you know, again, Mike Pollock, he's, he's proven he can do the role, so at least we don't have to worry about them getting... Although, I mean, I, I don't know if there's really any wrong way of doing Eggman. Actually, I say that, but I'm sure there is, but regardless. But yeah, so, you know, really not much more I can say on that. So, you know, c congratula congratulations, Mike. Um, sorry that the fan base kept bugging you for the last, uh, last little while, but, you know, we do it out of love. Um... You're not watching this video, so I don't know why I'm talking to you, but regardless, um, that being said, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, sorry, I know this is the second upload I've done today. I try not to do that just because I don't want to flood your subscription feeds, but, uh, Sega doesn't care about that, so, you know, I wanted to record my thoughts on this, get this out, um, although if you could, um, go and watch that, that other video I did, the first episode of Sonic Pitch, uh, is ju I just released, um, I would greatly appreciate it. That's that's been a long time coming. Uh, a lot of thought went into that, but regardless, uh, thank you all for watching. If you like what you see here, be sure to leave a like, consider subscribing, help grow the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.